I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. And first off, I'm going to apologize for all the noise. There's some construction going on across the highway here and I'm sure you can hear some of it. So along with our normal traffic noise here at Cedar Oaks, yeah, you're going to get that some. But we're, what we're going to be doing is shooting on the new long range we've got, the 50 yard range. And I've got three targets set up up there. And we've done this with some of the other guns, especially that Henry we had. But this time we're buying out our little Browning BLM Micro. And it is micro, as you know, if you've seen our reviews on it before. And yes, I know, I've got the Browning sticker. I've heard about that on the bottom. I don't own this gun. Browning does. They were very nice to send this in for me to try out and see how it works. Because they know my love for small carbines and what have you and man you can't get much smaller than this little sucker unless you want to drop down to a mare's leg uh, and that's a cheapy Tasco scope but it is a it does have some adjustments to it and such but we're not going into that but that's what I put on there others have said you gotta be kidding you put it well it's a it's a scope it works it's good rim fire scope it's good for air guns too and uh, if I want to grab something quick, and, I, and in this case, it's not staying on here permanent. This is an experiment. And we're going to be shooting at 50 yards with this rifle. And we're going to throw a twist to that. Let's see. I've got, aha, right here. We're going to load in some arm score shorts. Yeah, we're going to try to shoot shorts out of this short rifle at 50 yards and see if we can hit it. So that would be real interesting. So why don't I load this up and we'll start shooting. All right, I've got you zoomed in up there. Uh, as you can see, i got three targets. I've still got the same problem with the left one. You don't. You can see it. But i got a problem because there's a little bit of a tree in the way. And i uh, got to get my ear protection on. And that is a 12-inch gong at 45 yards. Uh, in the middle is a two-thirds size B27 silhouette that's at 50 yards off to the right is at 40 yards around, right around that maybe a little bit more and that is a 10 inch gong so uh, they're all AR 500s let's go for the 50 first and hopefully this scope is on uh, dropped it a few times again you can tell we got the traffic noise as normal so this is going to be interesting to see how it works My golly, got the little devil shot it out of there. Wasn't too sure. Let's try that right one. Yeah, got it too. Now we're going to try that left. I've had troubles before with the other guns because I can't see it that well. Yeah, I got it. I'm going to shoot that thing again. Yeah, got it again. In fact, I'm not too sure where I hit it, but I'm sure you do. I got about 15 rounds loaded in here. Yeah, got it again. I think that one was just about center, if I'm not mistaken. Look like it. So, uh, let's get the next. I'm going to go back to 50. Let's try 50 again. Yep. Okay. Try a little devil again off to the right. Yep. They're different sounds, aren't they? different size. I'm actually going to try to shoot that one to the left through the tree. I may hit the tree. I don't know. Nope. I got it. Tried to shoot to the left of the tree and I did it. Go back to 50. Yep. This little devil's is kind of impressive, isn't it? Shooting shorts. It's short. It's getting the 50s. Yep, I wanted to see if it would get that right one again. 
go back to 50. I'm not sure how many I got left. Yeah, I still had another one. Oh, by golly. Hang on here. We got a jam. That was actually jammed on the extractor. I had to flip it out better. Uh, I think I hit that tree. Tried to get that one to the left again. I couldn't see it that good. Fifty, I get it every time. Maybe if I move over here to the right, again, I can get that one on the left. I could if I got ammo in it. Well, that was it, so let's turn back around. If I really concentrated on it, because I could tell when I shot that one on the left, I was really wanting to hit it towards the middle, and I did. I know I did. At least it looked like it to me, and you could even see it better than I could. But I was looking through the scope. And um, as far as the other one, I don't know. That you may have definitely been able to see better. But I was mainly just wanting to hit those targets from this distance with this short of a gun and with short ammo. Uh, it was quite interesting to see what happened. And yeah, I had a miss there for sure, but... That one, I guarantee you, is because of that tree. Because when I was shooting from my normal side over here, I don't think you can see it, but there is a tree that's probably about the diameter of this gun. And it's leaning like this, right across that target. Well, I don't want to ricochet, so I don't want to hit it. And I'm wanting to hit the target, so... Yeah, the one time I was able to shoot around it, but the other time I was just too afraid of having, having a ricochet somewhere. So anyway, as you can tell, it worked. This little Browning BL-22 Micro, uh, one heck of a little gun, really. It's different, but it sure shoots. So until next time, shoot safe and have a great day of planking.